So about two years ago, I posted a video about the most in-demand jobs at the time. And since then, I've gotten nonstop messages on that video asking if it's still good since all of the things that have happened in the world since then. And I thought to myself, you know what? You're right. I should do another follow-up video on this because there's a lot of things that have happened in the world since then. The world's not the same place that it used to be. Right now, I have better data than I had back then. And there's more opportunities now than there was back then. Now, on that list back then, I used data from BLS, which is the Bureau of Labor Statistics. And don't get me wrong, the BLS is great but there's really two big problems with it. One, it groups together careers that it probably shouldn't group together. There's many cases where it groups together like a bunch of different careers that are actually quite different. And two, when it shows you the job demand, it tells you a lot about how much demand there is for the career in general. But the problem with that is there are many careers out there where there's a ton of demand, but there's not a lot of demand at the entry level. So all of the demand is for people who are already firmly in the career itself, people who already have experience. However, since then, I found a really good way to look up jobs that have a lot of demand even at the entry level. So if you're somebody who's trying to get your first job or you're trying to switch into a career, you can actually sort it by entry level. And and if you're somebody who's already midway into your career, you have a lot of experience, you can sort it like that as well. So with this new discovery, I'm really excited to introduce you to the most in-demand jobs of 2022. So let's go ahead and jump right into it right after you gently tap that like button. Or actually go ahead and rip the like button apart like you're a hungry bear. All right, so this video is going to be based off of data from LinkedIn. And keep in mind, these are going to be global statistics, so it may be a little bit different depending on which country you're from. But the great news is you can go on LinkedIn and look it all up yourself. So number 10 on the list is going to be graphic designer type jobs, specifically ones like web design, UX design, and UI design. So this actually encompasses a bunch of different types of careers. So for instance, when you type in web design on linkedin.com, you sort by experience level, entry level, you will see that in the United States, about 65,000 results pop up. And when you type in instructional design, which is pretty similar, but it's specifically for educational type content, oftentimes content that you interact with, you'll see that about 14,000 results pop up. And generally speaking, in the United States, web designers make about $92,000 a year. Number nine on the list is going to be financial analyst. So this is another really good career and financial analysts have about 74,000 results when you type it in on LinkedIn in the United States at the entry level. And they make about $92,000 a year. So really, really solid. Next one on the list is gonna be very similar. That's going to be data analysts. This one has an absolutely crazy amount of demand. When you type it in on LinkedIn, 243,000 results at the entry level. And on top of that, they make about $95,000 a year. Next one on the list, number seven, is going to be IT support. And specifically, you know, when you first started in IT, you'd probably work at the help desk. So when you type in IT support on LinkedIn, you're gonna see 320,000 results. And an entry level job, IT support, is probably gonna make about $73,000 a year. Next one on the list is going to be digital marketer. This is one that I've talked about on the channel quite often. Really amazing career. So when you type this one in, you're gonna see 107,000 results. And they they make about $84,000 a year. So yeah, really solid one. This is one that a lot of different people really like as well. You do not need a college degree to get into it. You also don't need any experience and you can get into it in around like two to three, maybe four months. Number five on the list is going to be a customer service representative. I just wanna interject here really quickly and say it's much better to be a customer service rep in the technology industry or a good industry. And then on top of that, it's much better to be a customer service rep if you are in a B2B business. B2B means business to business, meaning you are actually talking to other people and other businesses rather than talking to just random people that are customers. There's just a ton of advantages to doing it that way. It pays better, there's a lot more opportunity, et cetera. But with that being said, when you type Type in customer service, there is 1.17 million results in the United States. When you type in customer service specialist, there's 115,000 results. And again, this is all at the entry level. And when you type in customer service representative, there's 139,000 results. Now, out of all the ones on this list, this is going to be the lowest paying. And out of all the ones on this list, it's also going to be the easiest one to get into. If you put your mind to it and you used good strategies, you could literally get into this in probably a week or two. And this is a really cool one because a lot of the time it is a remote job, so it's very flexible. You can do it anywhere in the country if you want to. So this is the one that I recommend to people who need to get a job right away. And this one still makes pretty good money, about $65,000 a year. 
Next one on the list is going to be IT administrator. So there's a ton of different IT related jobs out there. IT in general is just phenomenal to get into. When you type in information technology, you're gonna see 176,000 results, like I said before, and IT administrators make about 82,000. So yeah, there's so many different directions you can go in IT, so many different niches. A lot of people start off in the technology industry in IT, and then they bounce around to all kinds of different things when they figure out what they like. Number three on the list that LinkedIn came up with was project manager. And this one has about 134,000 job postings. So project manager is a really cool one because it's kind of like entrepreneurship with training wheels. It's also great for people who want leadership management skill. They want to be in charge. And project managers make about $92,000 a year. Next one on the list is one of my absolute favorite ones, and that is sales representative roles. Now, LinkedIn had sales representative in general, but the best sales representative roles are definitely going to be in tech. So when you type in sales representative on LinkedIn, it's going to have 154,000 results. And when you type in business development on LinkedIn, it has 348,000. Business development or sales development typically is going to be another word for technology sales. So how much does sales representative in general make? about $99,000 a year. And how much does technology sales make? Around 106,000. And I've mentioned this many times on my channel. I have an entire playlist of people who have gotten jobs in technology sales, sometimes in less than a month. There's even one example, Della. She got a job in technology sales in about one and a half months for over $100,000 with no previous experience in tech sales. So you can check out that playlist, like I said, or Della's video. I guess I'll have that pop up. And the company that all of those people either use or they recommend using is Course Career which they have a free training, which I'll put down in the pinned comment as well as the description. And if you choose to use their service because they train you and then get interviews for you, I do have a $50 off coupon, which I will put down in the description as well as the pinned comment. I believe it is Shane50. And number one on the list, not gonna be a surprise to anybody. And by the way, I didn't come up with this list. LinkedIn did. They did this with their own internal data. That is going to be I know it's a meme, but it's gonna be software development. So if you type in software developer on LinkedIn, 179,000 results at the entry level. And if you type in software development, 409,000 results. Now I will say that because of the fact that this one is so popular, there's so many boot camps that have popped up, there's channels that pop up talking about how to get into this. There is a lot more competition to get in than there used to be. But with that being said, it is such a valuable skill and there's just more and more demand for it that I don't see it getting saturated anytime soon. However, the days of BSing your way into a job when you don't actually have any skill are over. You do need to know how to do software development. You need to make sure you know your stuff and you're good at it. But if you're able to learn software development, you are pretty much set for life. And software developers make about $109,000 a year. Now, the reason these aren't perfectly in order is one, I think LinkedIn used their own internal data that we don't necessarily have access to. And two, this is worldwide data. It's not just data from the United States, whereas I just looked up data from the US because that's what my LinkedIn is set to, obviously. But with that being said, really cool stuff here. Um, the easiest one to get into is probably customer service representative. And then the second easiest one to get into that's also extremely high paying is going to be tech sales. And like I said, check out Della's video right here. Thank you.